Hey everyone, this is Steve from Natobi and today I'm showing you guys how to install um, an app on Android. So this is a quick start guide for getting PhoneGap running on Android. So everyone, make sure you're at PhoneGap.com and click this giant get started button. Follow along if you can. I may be going a little fast. I only have 15 minutes to get all of this out. Um, we're going to be using Android Eclipse today. Um, if you want me to do the Android, uh, an app video for Android Terminal, just let me know. If I get enough uh, feedback of people saying they want the Terminal version, I can uh, make a quick video for that. But for now, we're doing Eclipse. Also, uh, another note, I'm working on a Mac. So if you are a Windows user, not all of these things will be uh, applicable and there'll be extra steps that I might not mention. If you guys want, if there's enough demand for a Windows version of this video, um, please leave me some feedback and uh, I will make a Windows version as well. So let's get started. It's assumed that you have the Android SDK installed and working. I'm going to assume you don't. I'm just going to go over these steps fairly quickly. So you may need to, to pause the video and uh, give yourself some download time or some install time. So here we go, uh, open that link, download uh, the Android SDK. So download whichever one is applicable to you. I downloaded Mac OS X obviously. I already have it downloaded and I extracted it to uh, my working directory. For me it was my documents, so I extracted that to documents. For you, you can extract it wherever you feel comfortable. Uh, next, click installing the SDK. So we gotta prepare your development computer. If you're a Windows user, you're gonna have to install the JDK. Since I'm on Mac, it already has uh, Java installed, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, if, and we're gonna be developing in Eclipse, that's the whole point of this guide, so download Eclipse if you don't already have it. You're gonna wanna get something 3.4 or newer. If it's uh, Eclipse 3.5 or newer, you want to make sure you uh, select Eclipse Classic. So open that link. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, click Eclipse Classic 3.61. <coughs> and uh, select whichever version is right for you. Step two, we've already done this. This is, the, this is what we actually started with. <coughs> um, now we got to install the uh, ADT plugin for Eclipse. So this is after we've already installed Eclipse, obviously. Uh, open this link in a new tab. Uh, follow these seven steps right here. They're very simple to follow. Uh, you should have the ADT installed by the end of it, and then we have to configure the ADT plugin. So we want to go to the Preferences panel. So open up Eclipse, go to Preferences. You want to click Android, and here you'll see your SDK location. You want to make sure this is pointing to where you extracted your SDK from earlier on. So I extracted mine to Documents, and here it is. Click OK. Next, we want to go to Window and uh, open up the Android SDK and AVD Manager. Go to Available Packages and uh, install all the packages uh, that are available, that are applicable to you. I'll show everything here. Uh, virtual Devices. So we want to get a virtual device set up. So you want to click New. You want to select a target. For us, we're going to use Android 2.2 because Android 2.3 just came out and it isn't officially supported by phone gap yet this is it just came out two days ago so depending on when you see this video Android 2.3 might be supported but for now to be safe Android 2.2 give it a generic name whichever something to help you remember it by Android 2.2 first try whatever you feel like really um, give it a size 10 megabytes and then create the AVD. <coughs> so there it is, Android 2.2 first try. Next would be to start it. I already have my uh, emulator up and running here. Uh, this could take a couple minutes, just get it started now. <coughs> Close that when you're done. Let's go back to Google Chrome. 
back to our starting guide, we're going to be, you, have, you also need to download, download the latest copy of PhoneGap if you don't already have it. <coughs> so click this link, download the zip. Um, I've already done it right here. I have the zip downloaded and I extracted it. We're going to be working with the Android directory. There is a sample app that comes in included, but we're not going to use that today. I'm going to show you how to make a, a, an app from, from, from scratch. So we have a phonegap.js and a phonegap.jar file. Um, as you see, let's go back to our directory. We're going to be creating a new project. So we want to go file, uh, new project in Eclipse, file, new, Android project. We're going to give it a name. Um, hello world. It's a good, it's a good generic name. Uh, select Android 2.2 as your as your build target. Uh, give the application a name, which is Hello World. Uh, package name, I like to go something like con.phonegap.hello world. You can be more creative. Um, create activity, we're just going to call it app and click finish. So there we go, our Hello World app is is here, it's made, it's ready. Uh, let's go to the next steps. So we've done all of that. So in the root directory of the project you created uh, in Eclipse, create two new directories. We need to create libs and we need to create a www directory in assets. So these don't exist right now. So we're going to go file new, new folder, libs. So there we go, I created the libs directory and the root directory and then under, be under assets, which already exists, click on it, click new, folder, www. This, this is where all your JavaScript, HTML, your images, your assets, everything is gonna go into this www folder. From here, next step, I believe, is to copy your phonegap.jar and phonegap.js to your libs and your uh, www, respectively. So I'll open back to Eclipse. I'm just going to copy jar here to libs. And I'm going to copy js here, phonegap.js, to the www directory. And there you can see them. They're both where they need to be. Um, now we need to create an index.html folder in the www folder. So here we go. New file index.html so there it's created and I'm going to open with text editor so here we go and in here we're going to paste this html sample code I have and uh, where it says welcome to phone gap let's change that to hello world. So this is HTML. You should all know how to code in HTML by now. Um, also like on after uh, the device is ready we're gonna it's gonna do an alert that says initialize. So it's got two headers and an alert. So you'll see that once we're ready so just save the changes you just had. Oh also you're gonna want to make sure the phone gap source right here is just phone gap.js. We don't need the dash 0.9.2 because our file is named just phonegap.js. It has to relate to that. Uh, next step. We have to make a few adjustments to uh, the project's main Java file found in the source folder in Eclipse. So go to the source folder and here it is, app.java. So just double click that. It should open. We have to make some changes here. First change, um, change the classes uh, ex classes extend from activity to droid gap. So right here, this extend, we change that to droid gap. So it says activity, and we change that to droid gap. Next, replace set content view down here with super load right here. So. I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to replace this line right there. 
And the last step is to import, add import com.phonegap.star. Just copy that. And we're going to paste that right here. So open that up. There it is. We're going to paste it right here. Oh, I forgot the eye. There we go. We can save that file now. Next, you might experience an error here. Now, if we look at ours, we do. We have all these red lines. It's not a good sign. Um, in this case, right click on the libs folder, go to build pad, configure build pad, then the libraries tab and add PhoneGap jar to the project. So go to the libs, build path, configure build path, the libraries, you want to add a jar, uh, navigate to the libs folder where you placed it, add it, make sure it's added, click OK, and there you go. Now the jar is added to your project properly. Um, now finally, the last step is to edit our Android manifest file. So we want to add all of this right under, right here in this image. So under the uh, version name and before application. So open up Eclipse, Android manifest. We're just going to open with text editor. And I want to put it right here back to Eclipse. In Android Manifest, make sure the activity tag contains the following attributes. We want to make sure this is here. Also, you can see it right here, it already exists. So right after a string app name, you want to add it before the end. So right here, string app name, just add it right there and save that. You're done with the Android Manifest. You can now run the project as an Android application, and it tells you the steps, but I'll just show you. So you want to right-click the project, go Run As Android Application. The console should be telling you what's going on. <coughs> so it's uploading, and now it's in <laughs> installing AndroidWorld.apk. That's my new app. It's starting the activity. There you have it, hello world. And there's the initialization alert. Excellent. And now you have a app running in the emulator. We strongly recommend that you use a real device instead of the emulator. The emulator isn't as reliable and it's a lot slower to push an app onto it. It takes a while to load up. It loses its connection with Eclipse. Uh, there's a ton of problems that can happen. but. Uh, it, if you don't have a device, it's definitely a, a more than viable option to use the emulator. Um, I'm going to give you guys some uh, resources now. So resources. We have wiki.phonegap.com. That's where the guide was today. Uh, we have docs.phonegap.com, which has all the API. That, it lists a lot of the API for PhoneGap and uh, has some really nice examples showing how to use it. Uh, the, the Google Groups is the best place uh, to ask any questions. It's where we send everyone for questions. There's a lot of smart people there. Uh, definitely check it out. And then, uh, obviously, developer.android.com is, is a very good resource. If you want to email me some questions, here's my email, steve.gill at natobi.com, and my Twitter, uh, at stevengill97. Um, I believe that's it. I have the Google Groups open here to check out, and I also have the, the docs open. So feel free, uh, leave me some feedback, let me know if you guys want a Windows version or a terminal version, anything. Awesome. Good luck, guys.